my mother and I have travelled all over England, Scotland and Wales, and I get sick after about two or three weeks away. I just get dying to get back to Wigan. It seems like a magnet that pulls me. And you never get tired some way of Wigan. This is the parish church where my mother was buried two and a half years ago, and um, it makes me very sad to be here because my mother was the most important person and influence in my life. I love the people of Wigan, but they don't love me. They think I'm mad, they think I'm eccentric. But this has its advantages because I can go more or less anywhere where I want and sit in a corner and sketch. This is what I don't like about Wigan, the hustle and the bustle and the traffic and uh, everything of modern life. This is what I try and keep out of. Being an artist means that no matter how many times you see a house or a tree or a lake or a valley, um, you always look at it as if you've seen it for the first time. And I see colours and shapes that some people say aren't there. They, they say, um, they look at my pictures and say it's not like that, but for me it is. I'm at the Scarsbrick Hotel in Southport because they're very friendly to me. And I've had a couple of shows here. And um, it's very awkward to take a model home because she always thinks that you're uh, sort of, um, you know, sort of, um, you, you know, you, you, you know, you just have to get her in bed, more or less. Whereas here, it's open. But funny enough, hotels have played a great part in my life. I've stayed in London hotels, I think, for the last 20 years and never paid them. We always take pictures. And on the whole, they're the, they're the, um, they're the, ga the gain. They bought some very good pictures of my mother. They didn't buy them, but they they give me a bill for fifty pounds, hundred pounds. See, and I just give them pictures for it. I like doing nudes. You know, I've done I've done about seventeen nudes this last two years, I think, since my mother died. Um, you can't beat the flesh tints. You know, there's greens and blues and reds and everything in it. It's very, very difficult. Sometimes a nude is also a portrait, but others are just bodies to me with light falling on them and the most marvelous color burning its way through the skin. To me, a body speaks like a face. I'm, I'm not actually thinking that I'm painting a nude. I think that I'm painting a face and there's something individual about a body just as there is in a face. I usually do sketches outside and then go home and then do the paintings that, you know, I paint in the morning till two or three and you can't sort of paint outside. I use a lot of blues, I use a lot of Prussian blue and um, this is a, what's his name of mine, trademark of mine. Um, for one, one thing about nature, I always, I paint in my own peculiar way, and uh, like I say, I use basic Prussian blue, and people see, say that you can't see blue in it, but I, I, I think you can. I can't explain it really, it's just there, you know, it's just that I think in the evening you see it more than what you do in the afternoon. But I think, you know, when the space, um, this space venture was on, and the earth looked all blue from uh, from the moon and to me I think there's a basic blueness about everything like I could say at certain times in the evening probably in the distance you can see the blues I, I think I paint in patterns more or less the French Impressionists did this idea you know they um, they painted patterns in certain things they didn't go for a photographic effect which I don't like to see now. I don't think the painters, people that uh, they're photographic, 
thing. I mean, anyone who spend the time on a painting, they can get it more or less a photograph. But you've got to get a bit of yourself into it. And um, I especially like painting water. Every exhibition I had in London, my mother was number one on the list. I'd like her to have been uh, more famous than me, really. I'd like, I liked her to be the centre of attraction, and I felt I owed her a lot for training me to be an artist, and I felt, and I think this is, I was trying to pay her back in some way. She seemed to have a lot of character again in the hands, and uh, the wrinkles, and uh, I want to do a good one of her hands, and I can't get down to it. I've got pictures of hands. I've got the marvellous wrinkles, but somehow it tears me apart just to, to attempt it. I know exactly what I do, and I hope to do it one day. This is Wigan Cemetery, where my mother was buried two and a half years ago. And honestly, I just feel like staying here, lying down with her. I just don't see any point in going home. I'd be much happier to stay here. I mean, she was such an influence in my life, and she influenced everything that since she died. I don't know, it just seems as if, well, everything's gone. There's no meaning in anything at all. You've got to try and, got to try and keep on, I suppose. Without Mother Lily, I'm absolutely lost. But I do hope that she influenced me spiritually to keep on and do this work that I think she's a part of. I don't think it's me. I think I'm more like a, a puppet in a way. I felt this when she was alive, that she was guiding me to do this work.